Hi there, I'm Chris Marlinga, chef of the Onion, uh, the North Division Onion, and today we're going to be making a Chipotle, a Southwest Chipotle burger um, with uh, Uncle Dan's uh, dip on top. So let's get started. Um, what we're going to do is, I have my patties already formed, um, and we're going to want to take a, you're going to need two packages of Uncle Dan's for this wonderful recipe. The first one we're going to sprinkle on our on our burgers. So um, one pound of meat, these are quarter pound burgers so you can get four, that's a good way to start or however you like. And basically we're just going to sprinkle some of this wonderful chipotle seasoning on both sides of the burger. The other half of the package on the other side. And you can do this first thing and then get all of your fixings, your lettuce and tomato ready so that that gets into the burger. You could even sprinkle this on the night before if you wanted to and let it really soak in. Okay, so we're gonna let those sit. And while those sit, we're gonna toast our gluten-free bun. So on your hot grill, you just wanna split it in half. You can uh, put some butter on it. If you have some pan spray, you can put that on there, Pam. Uh, your favorite garlic oil, just to get that nice and warm and, and cr crispy on the inside. Okay, it looks like our bun is toasted. So if you have a grill with a rack here, you can put it over on the side where there's no direct heat and that's a nice place to keep them warm. And then we will put our meat on the grill. If you wanna, if you're not familiar with grilling, you wanna start your grill at a nice high heat. And then when you put your burgers on, you wanna turn it down to a, a medium or medium high. Right, listen to that sizzle. Mm -mm. So these are going to cook for uh, about five, six minutes per side for medium rare. A couple minutes more if you like them well done. So you may notice these patties are all perfectly round and shaped. I bought them that way. Um, you can buy pre-made patties or you can make them yourself. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, after a couple minutes, if you want to get the nice diamond pattern, you're going to do a quarter turn. So get underneath and give them about a quarter turn. And then when you flip them over, over you'll have that lovely diamond. We're going to close our grill and let the, the heat build up in there. Give those a couple minutes like that. Let's check our burgers here. Oh, they're looking good. You can see Around the bottom of these here, they're starting to sizzle, so it's like it's time to flip. Then we're gonna shut it again, give it a few minutes. So uh, one of the, the toppings for the burger is gonna be uh, the Uncle Dan's Southwest uh, Chipotle dip. So you basically just want to follow the directions on the back. There are two sets of directions, one for a dressing and one for a dip. The dip is a little thicker, so for to top a burger, this is our final product. Um, I'd recommend the dip. Just follow the directions for the dip on the back. Uh, this is a good one to make beforehand. If you can make it the day before, those flavors really, really get to mix together. Uh, but if you don't have time and you want to make it while your burgers are cooking, that's fine too. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be wonderful either way. And uh, that's something I did ahead of time. And, we're ready to top our burgers as soon as they're ready for us. Give them another little quarter turn. As I was saying earlier, medium rare, about, about 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, it depends on the thickness of the burger. Uh, if, you, if you have an instant read thermometer uh, in your drawer, about 120 is medium rare, 125 is medium. Uh, 130-ish is going to be medium well, well done, 140. The other way is you can just uh, give it a little push with your finger and if it, if it springs back a little bit, then that's, that's kind of what you want for a medium, medium rare. So these all look quite done. So we're going to take them off the grill. Okay, so we'll get our bun here, still nice and warm. Take our Uncle Dan's Chipotle Ranch dip that we made earlier. Want about a tablespoon, spread it on there. And this is up to you if you like a little more or a little less. Uh, and then we're gonna put, uh, I made a black bean and corn salsa for this, but this is really um, up to you. You can 
You can use your pico de gallo if you make a fresh one, if you have a jar of salsa at the store that you like. Anything really works well um, with the Southwest theme. Anything that you feel is Southwest is gonna work great on this burger. So go ahead and I'm gonna give about a nice heaping tablespoon of that right on there. And then I've got some lettuce, tomato, and onion ready. Place that right on top. The burger on the bottom bun. And uh, you can, for your guests, you can serve it like this as a nice way to serve it. I like to flip it all right on top so it, so it doesn't spill out. Give it a nice little frill pick there. Hey Chris, what hey. do we got going here? And Dan, here's our Southwest uh, Chipotle Ranch Burger with the wonderful um, seasoning, this, the Southwest Chipotle dip. Uh, we sprinkled some on the burger and we made the dip uh, just following the directions on the back and spread some of that right on the gluten-free bun there, so. Ooh, wow. Well, the other two dishes that you made were so great. I know I don't have to sample it now. It looks like I'd be wearing half of it, but that's okay. I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy this because Chipotle has become a real buzzword in the food industry, not only at the consumer level, but also at the level of the restaurant owners and so forth. Anyway, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Here. Is that beautiful? Look at that. Holy yeah. <laughs> mackerel. Like I know I'm going to like this. Maybe it is. But everything has just really been amazingly tasty. You know, I'm so used to eating a hamburger with a slice of raw onion and ketchup. And <laughs> I mean, that's my usual hamburger. But this adds another dimension to it. I think I like it better than ketchup. For one. Really? But really. You know, he infused the meat and stuff with Uncle Dan's uh, dressing, and uh, it makes a really moist, uh, really tasty uh, burger. You know? Wow. What more could you do? Love the Chipotle burger. It adds a nice flavor. Um, it's fun that it's gluten free to have a bun with it and to have the, the Southwestern salsa with the green, or with the black beans and the corn, I really enjoyed it. It's very flavor forward and um, I'd do it again.